everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. We're here today with episode 17, the final episode in the flea market style traveler's notebook make along series. If you miss this series, you can find it in my playlist um, under the same name and you can definitely go back and reference the videos and make one of these journals for yourself. Um, if you're not interested in making your own journal, I will have one dozen of these beauties going up in my Etsy shop very soon. You can find me on Etsy as Studio Lou as well. All my social media information is linked down below in the description box. And I'd love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel because we're having fun here, right? So let's get into the flip through of this journal. I'm so excited. So this one I'm calling When You Open Your Heart. So the image on the front is actually this lovely, um, this is a vintage book. I'll show the cover to you really quick here of what book this came from. It is um, the Patsy Twins and Pan. And this is the cover. This is all I have left of this old book. It's a beautiful book, children's story. Um, so the cover has been collaged and completely covered with um, Mod Podge and the spine is a three hole signature. Um, it's a single signature. It's been bound with um, a fabric binding here so that it's very strong. And we have vintage seam binding, piped seam binding to close it. And then when you open the journal, you'll see here there are these metal eyelets. So the way that you just sort of keep your tie on is you just slip it back behind the journal as so and then just give both ends a tug and then it's going to just hang out there so you can open it and not lose your tie. Okay let's jump into this journal. So here at the front we have this little Botero image and there's a little butterfly there that continues onto this page. This is a tuck spot. Um, and then this is an ancient map of Toronto from like probably the 1940s, 50s. Um, it has writing space on back, but it's just a nice little um, bit of local ephemera, authentic ephemera. The first page we have this storyteller tag to the woods, magic powers, chance to see the world. And this is a vintage photo of what looks like a young soldier holding a little girl here. These photos are from 1953, um, this particular one, and it has some fabric on the tab and a little postage stamp um, collage. On this side, we have a paper clip holding onto this. So this is a floating pocket and it has this lovely piece of stationery inside and it's just these beautiful mushrooms. So that just pops on inside the pocket. There's lots of room to add extra things to this journal. That's kind of the point of these traveler's notebooks to take them on a trip with you for a couple of weeks and you can collect things and stick them in and write about your days. This page is decoupaged napkin of these beautiful lemons on a blue background. We have a fabric flip here with a couple of cats on bikes on graph paper. Some stenciling and a little collage of a mouse on a mushroom. It says on the journey. And this is a children's book peg, page of this beautiful dragon. And then the back of the page has these lovely pink cats and a pocket down below. And inside the pocket, this is um, a bit of acetate. So sorry if it's a little shiny, but it's lovely. It says contrary to popular fantasies. It's a little pink envelope and I've um, made writing space on the back and inside you can remove this um, little journal card here, pull it out and you'll see there's a fun backing back there. And then this is just a little, a little kid kind of looking up at the stars, a little journal card. So that just pops on inside there. And then you can see the little kid kind of peeking out, which is fun. Um, here we go. Then this is sort of a peekaboo kind of spot. You can see the flowers here and this has been cut away. And back here we have some avocado dyed journaling space. And then on this coffee dyed paper, more journaling space. And then this is an altered envelope that I've turned into a quadruple kind of pocket. So first we have something in behind this big pocket and it's this, um, 
journaling space essentially it's like a, a scrapbook paper flip open a little bit of collage inside and a little bee here and that just pops in here let it peek out and then inside each of these slots we have little pieces of ephemera so there's some Richard Scary, some stamping um, just little bits and bobs that if you wanted to either write on the back you could um, you could also stick them in different places use them as tabs or extra ephemera bits throughout the journal lots of fun stuff here um, to play with definitely labels and um, lots of cute little miniature journal cards basically and then this is a cabbage dyed um, Hebrew page with a label up here and some fun crinkly cabbage dyed parchment paper. And then this is a fabric um, ruffle on some vintage ledger paper that has been tea dyed. This is some fun marbled construction paper. This tab says look around. And down here we have a cluster with this little um, sap diagram, this um, about making sap or collecting sap and then this is a children's book page from a 1950s little children's book and there's some collage and writing space on the back and then back here we have some just nice paper and a book page pocket with a collage and then a fabric sample tag that I made these are really fun you sort of take the um, the colors that are in the image and you stitch on three fabrics um, that, that kind of match the picture and then some tea dyed ribbon at the top. And then this is an altered paper bag. So there's a beautiful wax seal here, some roses and a tab. And so you can open it here for writing space. And then back here, we actually have a double pocket that has two pieces of stationery inside that match the overall theme of the page. So everything on this spread is made from the same scrapbook paper. So it kind of goes together like a nice little collection. Um, and it's a double pocket, so it's a lot of fun. And then you'll see that there's some um, washi tape, bee beehive themed washi tape that kind of goes along with the whole theme of the page. And then down here, the same theme and a little flip up that has some more writing space there. Some sprayed paper and some botanicals. This is from a vintage um, yearbook. And this whole page is made from college rule paper and it's all vintage yearbook themed. So this journal card is also from a vintage yearbook. This is a fun greeting card that I got about Georgian Bay um, and it's just a beautiful piece of art. Mushroom stamp. Here we have a small little very old book page that I made into a pocket to hang on to this fun um, vintage photo from the 1950s of these little girls sitting on a blanket and there's a little boy over here. Sorry, 1932. Um, 11 months old, this little one. This is... Um, black walnut dyed paper and here we have this fun folk art cow and then this is like um, a door kind of cut piece of um, my blue dyed paper with this frog jumping over a water lily and then we have kind of a waterfall of fun papers with a calendar here in the center it's a botanical calendar um, and then we have an Edith Holden page at the center with this lovely doily and a little butterfly, a wooden button on a bulb pin. That just kind of lays down here. I just need to turn it around. It got discombobulated as I was photographing these journals today. <clears throat> and then over here we have another page of the um, calendar with a moth sticker here more of the calendar and these waterfall pages, more of that watery paper with a fabric tab at the bottom and a fabric uh, collage cluster up top, another piece of fabric and a stamp on more of my black walnut dyed paper. And then a little pocket made from some uh, vintage book cover. Um, it has this little bit of um, a children's story. He scrambled out on the first bank he came to and he hopped home across the meadow with his Macintosh all in tatters. And then inside we have a few things. So a couple pieces of um, 
paint chip sample, blank on the back for writing, and um, a word card that says stop, also blank on the back for writing. And then this is a beautiful envelope that has this um, floral at the top. And then when you flip it, um, actually, sorry, it flips this way. <laughs> um, it flips out and we have here a collage with a little crested flycatcher bird. And then inside there is um, a large journal card that I'll just pop out here. Um, there we go kind of exactly such. There we go. Maybe there's a little extra glue there. So this is um, the Carrion and Hooded Crow. So the family of crows, and that's just a journal card um, for writing on. And then here we have this little tarot card up top, the Knight of Swords, and then a little mushroom stamp at the bottom. And when you flip it, you have some more writing space on packaging paper and this little sticker here of this funny little rat. And then this is some college roll paper, again, with that yearbook theme. And this I'm calling my breakup tag. So it's made from a book page. And um, this is an image from a vintage yearbook and it's been cut apart and stitched back together. So the tumultuousness of um, high school maybe. <laughs> And then this is another um, journal card that I made from a vintage yearbook. It is just clipped on with a rusty paper clip. And it's, um, it has the little description down here. Janice Warren, um, her quote is, We are children of the universe, no less than the trees or the stars. We have a right to be here, so we must strive to make our lives happy. And this is all stitched around and it's stamped here proof. So maybe it was going to the editor of the yearbook club. And then we have a side tuck pocket that's been collaged um, with the same paper that you saw earlier and a little um, a little cutout here to hold on a piece of stationery and some sprayed paper. And then the other side is more of that same paper collage. We have a couple brads up here and you open this up and you have this fun little tab um, and then some cabbage dyed paper for journaling, more journaling space. Um, at the bottom here and some more construction paper and two fun fabric collage tabs and then down here we have some silver um, aluminum foil so, and it's been glued on it says rediscovering exotic shoehorns and it has a little stamp of a moth this is vintage ledger paper and so this tips out for more writing space and then we have a pocket here made from a vintage DIY book and a little fish hiding behind and then this is a journal card made with some beautiful vintage papers and um, pictures of birds and some gold ribbon at the bottom. This is a tarot card that is um, glued down as a pocket. It's the Ace of Materials. And then this is um, an index card. And I've done like a collage with some fun bingo dauber dots in the background, washi tape. And it says the starlight night. Look at the stars. Look, look up at the skies. Oh, look at all the fire folks sitting in the air. The bright burrows, the circle citadels there. Down in dim woods, the diamond delves, the elves' eyes, the gray lawns cold where gold, where quick gold lies. Wind beat white beam, airy abels set on a flare, flake doves sent floating forth at a farmyard scare. Ah well, it is all a purchase, all is a prize. And that is on some Hebrew dictionary that's been cabbage dyed. And on this side we have um, a fabric tag made from a really fun vintage floral fabric. And this is just a bit of collage on a coffee dyed paper. And then a little notepad made with avocado and coffee dyed papers and some cork. And over here you can see more of those beautiful pink cats and a little collaged book page pocket. And these I'm calling my audience ta uh, journal cards. So it's some fun dyed paper. And we have this little audience of vintage um, people up here. And then this is a children's book page uh, from that dragon page and it has some paper ruffle down the side and a fabric ruffle here with a fun jewelry charm and some stenciling. And on this side, a little collaged pocket 
with a tic-tac-toe card inside. And then over here we have a lace um, side tuck with, this is that napkin on the back that's been decoupaged. And I had to include this beautiful piece of actual vintage ephemera. So this is from September 25th, 1948. Um, Rowson, Ontario. I can't quite read what this says. I'm not, I'm not familiar with this town, but it's a beautiful wedding photo and it's like a tin type. Like you can see the, um, the way that it was developed when you turn it in the light. And then back here we have this beautiful ombre paper and this is an altered paper clip of an owl's head and underneath we have this journal card with a tab these beautiful birds and it's very fun because when you pop this under here then the bird gets the owl's head <laughs> and at the back we have another owl peeking out another tuck spot here this fun little label that says farewell, we've reached the end of the book. And then this says good naturedly, and it is a journal card made from the Snow White and Rose Red children's story. So that is this journal. This is the one that we made together. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I'm so happy for those of you who made along with me. I hope you enjoyed this series. And for those of you that are watching this as it's linked from my Etsy shop, please ignore the little bit of blurb at the beginning. Um, this journal was made with my community here on my channel. So if you do choose to pick it up, it is a fun kind of memento of the time that was spent together here on my channel. So thank you again. I hope you have a wonderful day and bye for now.